Hello everyone, Toonamp here. I'm Toonamp and I'm glad you tuned in. I was thinking about the animation industry and I'm watching all the trailers for the 2016 animated films. And I'm thinking to myself, is the animation industry in trouble? And here's the reason why I thought that. We had 14, and I said had, because one of them has dropped out. But we've had 14 anime feature films that were supposed to come out this year. And there's a problem with that. That is, on average, maybe one in a fourth film per month. That is oversaturation. Used to be in my childhood, back in the 1980s, we had maybe one or two anime feature films come out a year. Usually one really good film and then one that was utter crap. Or maybe in the early 80s, they were all pretty much utter crap. Can't go wrong with Pound Puppies the movie and The Black Cauldron coming out the same year. Don't quote me on that, I'm just going with what I remember coming out at the same time. And believe me, there was a Pound Puppies the movie. But going to see an anime film was a treat. Because it was such a rarity back then. Now this was before video, this was before DVD. This was back when Disney released their feature films every seven years. I remember my very first Disney film that I saw in the movie theaters. That was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It was magical because it was a Disney experience and Disney back then was rare. But now, this year, we've had 14 films. We had Norm of the North, we have Kung Fu Panda 3, Zootopia. We had Little Prince, but they dropped out. And the film that followed Zootopia was Ratchet and Clank. It's like, good luck to you. Then we have Angry Birds, we have Finding Dory, we have The Secret Life of Pets, Ice Age 5, Kubo and the Two Strings. We have Stork, we have Moana. I'm sorry, I got that wrong. We have Trolls, and we have Sing. It's oversaturation, and now parents have to pick and choose what anime films to take their kids. Which means some of these animation companies are going to suffer, and we're already seeing the effects. The establishment, they're doing fine. Kung Fu Panda 3 did really well. Zootopia did amazing. Finding Dory would do fine. I mean, come on. It's Finding Nemo. Everybody loves Nemo. I'm not going to say it again just because I'm going to mess it up, but the Disney Princess movie in November is going to do fine. But the movies that I'm going to do well are the ones that are following the Disney and Pixar and, to a lesser extent, DreamWorks films. I really want to see Kubo of the Two Strings, but I just don't know how well it's going to do. The movies I don't want to see are The Secret Life of Pets, Ice Age 5, and The Angry Birds movie. With Angry Birds and The Secret Life of Pets, what made me decide not to see them are the trailers. I mean, come on, you're filling the trailers with pee and poop jokes? What does that say about the rest of the movie? And we knew Norma the North was going to do well. Kind of worry about storks, though. That one, I want Warner Brothers Animation to do well. Unless it really does well in Rotten Tomatoes, I don't think parents' interest will be sparked with this one. Now we get to Trolls. Have you seen the trailer for this thing? Dubstepping, twerking. Oh, it's like a nightmare. And then, then they find out that the trolls are tasting good. And then the thought automatically comes to my mind. Hey, this is Smurfs. And then we get to sing. I'm watching this trailer and I'm automatically thinking, Oh, it's Zootopia. And then the music started. It's not Zootopia. I don't think 
the writers and the producers of this movie even know who their target audience is. The trailer stunk. It's not for kids. I mean, the music that they're playing is not for kids. Then again, the music that they play for Alvin and his Shipmunk was not for kids. But Sing has like three things going against it. First was the music. The second was Zootopia set a huge standard for anthropomorphic animal movies. Parents and kids are going to compa be comparing this movie to Zootopia. And third, you're coming out right after a Disney princess movie. Now, let's talk about the Little Prince film and what could have possibly happened there. Originally, the film was supposed to be released on March 18th, 2016, and I'm wondering if Paramount got scared because if maybe not even a week, maybe two weeks after Zootopia dominated the box office, I'm wondering if Paramount thought, there's no way in hell we're going to follow that. So, for whatever reason, they pulled the film out of theaters. Also, I've heard that the promotion for the film hasn't been all that great. And then we find out soon after Pam App pulled the movie, then we found out that Netflix has taken over the distribution rights for it. So, does this mean the film is not going to be in theater, or is it going to go straight to Netflix? Because if that's the case, then man, that is a waste. Because I've seen the trailer for this thing. It looks amazing. But then again, when would they release the movie into theaters? I mean, you look at the calendar, no time is really a good time. And if it is because Paramount got scared after what happened with Zootopia dominating the movie scene, I think they are justified after what happened to Ratchet and Clank. You know what's also a funny thing is I think there are a couple more movies that are supposed to come out this year that hasn't had their date set, which I find that interesting, but I also find it concerning since, again, when is there a good time to release an anime film in 2016? There really isn't. So yeah, I have a lot of worry for the feature length animation movies that are coming out and the industry as a whole. There obviously are going to be some winners, but there are going to be a lot of losers as well. And that isn't necessarily a bad thing, because maybe the ones that don't do well financially might step up their game, might write a little bit better stories, might improve their animation, or might just drop off of the face of the earth. We have seen in the past that it doesn't matter what celebrities you have in the movie. With anything, good writing, good animation, great characters, great music, these are the formulas that make a great movie. And hopefully, when 2016 ends, we'll weed out the bad companies, or the bad companies will improve, and hopefully the feature like the animation industry will not have a crowded 2017. I'm Toonamp, I'm tuned up, and lordy almighty, don't put toilet jokes in your movie trailers. You almost had me Angry Birds. You really did. And then I saw that stupid eagle peeing in that lake. Thanks for watching.